Hello everyone, and welcome back to the beautiful world of As Far As The Eye, where we are the wind whispering to the Whisper tribe and doing our best to try to help them to be able to explore their world and escape the rising seas in time to make it to the distant eye, which is many, many halts and many trails away. And I'm hoping we'll be able to get them over to the eye. That's apparently where they will be able to wait out the rising sea and find other tribes that they can meet with, with their nomadic creatures and survive. And I really want our little whisper tribe to survive. They are absolutely precious, even if we definitely ended up getting into a lot of trouble last time with Thistel. So Thistel got us in quite a bit of trouble by opening up these ancient ruins and causing all sorts of chaos and mischief by first getting a negative trait, a lazy trait, and then next ending up uh, having that trait removed in a room of reflection. And the negative lazy trait actually made it so that our whole tribe was paralyzed with laziness and we had to only have two out of our four workers being able to do anything. We even had to destroy a farm in order to be able to continue on. So Thistle, you are an absolute handful and I am so tickled by you. Uh, and now it's time to resume our trek. It's time to resume what we think we need to be doing to prepare for our journey. Time is running out and the great flood is definitely arriving. Uh, I don't know if we can actually leave early. That's going to have to be something that we look into. Uh, so I don't know if we can actually try to leave early since this is the first time we have ever been the wind whispering to one of these tribes, but we'll continue to explore and adventure and see what we stumble upon. One of the things that after spending a little time letting everybody rest after the chaos of the ruins and the remains cursing us and uncursing us <laughs> that I have actually looked into is what would it take in order to gain knowledge points? Because to get to the medium halt caravan, or the medium canyon halt, pardon me, we need knowledge points. Yet I don't know what building we would need to create in order to get knowledge points. And I think the answer is possibly the council. The council would be an extra appendix, appendix which is what they call the buildings that you build onto the back of your caravans that would allow us to spend knowledge points to unlock bonuses related to the different varieties or the changes in the world and travel. So I think we need these knowledge points in like the council in order to get these knowledge points. We need knowledge points in order to get to the medium canyon halls. But when I looked at what we actually need in order to make the council, I realized it's another pack animal. And we've already used up the only pack animal I think we can find on this whole area because we haven't stumbled upon another one. <laughs> we've already used that one up to build a camp for Thistle. So I don't think we're actually going to be able to get any knowledge points. And that means we won't be able to go to the medium canyon halt. So this L, you continue to be a gift that keeps on giving and you are so much trouble, but I still love you. So because we can't get knowledge points, we need to actually change our plans and we need to go to the small sacred lakes halt instead, where we will need to have wood, We'll need to have medicine, the special medicinal plants that we can find, the spices, uh, which can be also used by a baker or chef to produce a bakery or in, to produce food, food in a bakery or cookhouse, which sounds amazing. And we are also going to need stone gathered by a stone gatherer or a stone cutter in a quarry. So that's, that's a little bit of a shift, but I actually think it's the perfect shift because one of our wonderful pupils, as these creatures are called, Faza, who has worked really hard to try to provide for the entire tribe so far, actually has a trait called clumsy. They lose five health per harvest cycle, and Faza has slowly but surely begun to become quite ill. So I do want to go ahead and change things up so Faza can gather up medicine and possibly even become uh, like a druid, which is one of the many different jobs that our pupils can actually take. 
and potentially gaining oh here we go <gasps> Druids, look at this. So that's where the knowledge points are. I see, I see. You have to be a specialist. So you get knowledge points the more you're specialized. Oh, maybe we won't need to actually change our halt and change the direction we're going. If we can just specialize some of our, our people to become better woodcutters or better gatherers, then we'll start getting knowledge per every harvest cycle. And if we can become a better farmer like we were working on, we can get knowledge there. And if we gather up more spices so that somebody really trains to become an herbalist, then we can get a lot of knowledge. Wow. Okay, so it looks like it's 15 for... 15 knowledge as you become more specialized, which I really love. Uh, when you are a herder or a farmer, 15 for fisher and hunter. I don't see any knowledge, but I do see efficiency going up for bakers and chefs. Knowledge goes up if you are a fruit gatherer or a woodcutter, and it goes up again, 25 plus 25 extra per cycle, if you become a more knowledgeable fruit gatherer or woodcutter. Um, let's see repairs oh we might need to have little pupils to become repairs the architects and the engineers stone cutters also gain knowledge so it seems like druids might be the fastest way to gain knowledge but everybody will be able to contribute knowledge points other than bakers chefs yeah other than bakers chefs and architects who have their own unique skills oh that's so intriguing i love this i love how cool this is all right, well, Faza, we're actually going to have Faza go ahead then. We could technically go either direction, but we absolutely need a dispensary anyway, because we need to get some spices, if not to go to the small sacred lakes halt, which I think would be good for Faza, because maybe Faza has become quite ill in the sacred lakes. We could add into the story, weave that into the story as a place where Faza could become healed and could really begin to recover from whatever they're struggling with. And I, I kind of get the feeling that Faz is like the most mature out of the whole tribe. Like maybe the elder or eldest, I should say. Oh, look, and you can actually add mobile dispensaries. <gasps> what? Mobile buildings can be moved and transported when leaving for the next halt. That's a thing we can do. We just need wood and ore or like wool and ore. <gasps> can we do that with all of them? Oh, wow, we could do that with the farm too. Oh my goodness, I didn't know we could do that. That is so cool. Well, let's try to get a mobile dispensary because I, I, I mean, we have the time. We have the time. We might be able to get the ore going. Oh, that's actually a close call though. You know what? We should probably get the mobile cookhouse if we were going to do anything. So I'm going to build a dispensary now and we'll build it over here. Because otherwise, I worry that Faza is going to get too sick before we gather up enough materials. So we'll do that. Faza, why not? Er, you're going to come over and become a builder. And then this L. This L has nothing to do, but this L has caused quite a bit of chaos and quite a bit of trouble. <laughs> so we're going to see if this L can start balancing things out and, and helping repair things. Um, and this L. Let's start with stone or wool. What would we need? Spices and stone. We also, I think we need more wood either way. So thistle, should I make a sawmill? Oh look, and we can even make mobile sawmills and mobile pastures. I had no idea. All right, or quarry. Yeah, I can't build a quarry. So thistle, I'm actually gonna have thistle come over and start gathering up wood and become a bit of a woodcutter for a while <laughs> so that hopefully we can have enough wood for all of our tasks. And Itona here has been doing a little exploring, but I think I'm actually going to have Itona come over and start gathering up, if not wool, can I have Itona gather? No building to harvest, no building. We need to have um, the stonecutter building if we're going to be able to do that. I think wood might be one of the few things you can actually gather. So we're going to gather wood as well when you're just next to the caravan. All right, let's do this. How exciting. Vaza's going to become our first druid. Oh, and we found even more ore. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're definitely going to need to set up a hopefully mobile stonecutter area soon. 
And look at Faza. Faza has taken on the form of being able to be an architect and an engineer, which I love. I love that they turn the builders turn into little birds, which is just precious to me. All right, Faza has now finished building the dispensary. And now we can go ahead and start gathering up the spices, I think. So here's the dispensary. Assign a pupil to a dispensary and they will start harvesting spice or producing, what are these? Producing potions. Potions are concocted by herbalists and druids in a dispensary and can cure and heal pupils that have lost health points. To heal a pupil when you have potions, assign them to the consumption of a potion at the dispensary or caravan. Oh, that's so fascinating. And then what else can we do in here? Uh, or producing... Oh, so you need to have the pepkin, which are these small little fruit. Pepkins, which can be consumed instead of food. They're like emergency food. Or used in recipes by a baker or chef, producing even more food. Oh, that kind of reminds me of Universum, where if you have higher quality food resources and higher quality buildings, you get much more out of the food that you have created. All right, Faza, we need you. I want you to be able to heal. But first we need to go ahead... Wow, we need a lot of the pepkin. And we're going to have you gather up spices. Oh, look! Oh my gosh, Faza is our first little druid! And it's just a cute little goat with shiny little horns. That is so much fun! Alright, so let's see. Faza has started to gather up spices. This cell has returned with more wood. This cell, since you have been a little bit of a problem... <laughs> Problem maker, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm gonna have you work on getting us... We need a cookhouse for sure. And it looks like we need ore for the cookhouse, even if it's not mobile. But I would love to be able to make a mobile cookhouse, honestly. So while we still have a ton of our rations, even though they're going to be used up faster, ironically because we got this hell. <laughs> Uh, then let's come over and work on preparing for a mobile cookhouse. Which is, is I just love that because we can pack it up on the backs of our Appa and Ama, which are Appa and Ama are going to be the, the two names I have given our current wonderful pack animals. And if you guys have more suggestions for those names that we can weave into the Whisper Tribes lore, do please let me know. But this owl, you're going to work on gathering up the wool because we have... Oh, here we go. In fact, can I have you... Yeah, there's no visible resources, so there's no other pack animals we can tame right now. This owl is now going to become this adorable little, like, badger bear and start gathering up the wool, which I love. Oh, good, and Faza has started to gather all of those... There. Oh, look at that. Oh, Faza. Yay! So Faza gained some experience, but Faza lost health from being clumsy. <laughs> Hang in there, Faza. I'm trying. I'm trying to get you to the point that you can recover. Building. Okay. And then... So Faza gained a bunch of experience for that. Aubrey. Aubrey is getting up there on the woodcutting, which I think is going to help us out with more knowledge. Atona... Atona is gathering up um, wood right now, but Atona can get more... Oh, Atona can actually get more wool or more cereal per harvest cycle. Atona, okay, I should actually have Atona switch jobs then. All right, Atona, where are you? There we go. Thistle, are you, are you almost done? All right, Thistle is returning the resources. There we go. And I'm actually going to have Thistel work on gathering up, building and gathering up stone. Let's see. Because, yeah, we'll put the stone. Ooh, tricky to figure out where to go. All right, Thistel, I'm going to actually have you come over here. Because if Atona, no, Atona, I want you to come over here. There, okay. Thistel, you go here. And Atona, you actually come over here because you can you can become a grower and get more wool per harvest cycle. So we're actually going to want Atona to be the one to gather that up. Yeah. And then the cell, we want you to come over and build a quarry. 
which can go ahead and go on this plane to be very close to all of this resource. Yes, even though we chase away the pepkin and the creatures that could gather wool. Here we go. And now Thessel is going to build our very first quarry. As much as I wish it could be a mobile one. And we're going to have Thessel become a stone gatherer. <laughs> Maybe that is how Thessel ends up finding all of those ancient resources. Oh, it's an axolotl! I didn't realize that the stone gatherers are axolotl of all things. Oh, that's precious. Oh, good. And we've actually finished gathering all of the wood here. I don't mind that because it means we can build a cookhouse there eventually. Abri, good job, good job. All right, Abri, let's check out how your skills are going. Abri is getting closer to being very knowledgeable. It probably takes the whole journey and many halts before you can get super knowledgeable about what to gather and where to go. Um, and we're beginning to get really low on food. How close until we can get that cookhouse going? Okay, we need a bit more stone, but we are getting there. So I'm just going to hold in and hope that we have enough of the pumpkin <laughs> to be able to, to wait. Okay, Thistle, we really need you to hurry and start bringing... Oh, Faza, hang in there to bring you that stone, please. All right, Thistle returned with 40 more stone. And then I wonder if Faza... Let's have Faza start gathering the pepkin, I think, once Faza returns this batch. Oh! Faza, did you... <gasps> Faza managed to get plus five uh, harvest per cycle now. Oh, that's so fun. Now that I finally understand how they, they managed to get those things. Here, Faza, we're going to have you gather the pepkin. There we go. Oh, wait, is there pepkin here? Faza, gather the pepkin. This land is already exploited. Um, Abri? I know it's actually a bit of a walk, but I want you to come that way. And then Faza, I want you to actually gather here. Oh, look, Faza has now turned into a little gatherer as well. Okay, there we go, because we need to start getting Faza some medicine. <laughs> They're getting a little bit, a little bit sick. And we finally have enough stone. All right, let's actually stop for just a second with uh, whoever gathers next. Okay. Oh, a friendly caravan just arrived too. Wonderful. We'll run into them in just a second. Um, all right, let's go ahead and we're going to have Faza build the mobile cookhouse. Look at that. Oh my gosh, so we can actually pack this up once we're all done. Is that the idea? I'm pretty sure. So, Cookhouse Mobile. Mobile buildings can be moved and transported when leaving for the next halt. Yes! Okay, just in- oh dear, just in time. We're getting very low on our rations. Yay! Alright, and Abri, let's have you come over and greet the friendly caravan. And then we have plenty and plenty of wool now, so I'm actually going to have, uh, I'm actually going to have Atona over here shift gears to helping to collect spices. Hmm, Atona, I actually did cooking, to be honest, once we have the ability to cook. Uh, so let's actually have Atona shift gears to gathering the pumpkin, because we're going to need that. All right, and here we are, friends. So let's settle in and let's see what we are going to work on in order to trade with this encounter. A caravan of pupils passes through the area. Exchanges with this group can be fruitful. Or fruitful. <laughs> okay, so the caravan recently passed through a storm that severely damaged their stock. They offer a trade, 100 stone in return for 40 wool. La or Lif's tribe is struggling to feed everyone. Lif, a hunter, a uh, hunter one and woodcutter one, is willing to join you if you feed their friends by giving 50 ore, or 150 ore and 150 pumpkin. I don't have the food, I'm sorry, sir. Uh, otherwise, we could have even more pupils come join us. Or your tribe asks the caravan for help and suggests they do part of the trip with you, reducing the next travel cost by a quarter. Ah, uh, 
I actually think we're doing well, and actually, if we trade away the extra wool we have for the stone, that will immensely help us to go to the small sacred lakes halt, which is actually where I'm feeling called now to go, so that Faza can sit in the sacred waters and hopefully heal up and maybe see some druidic insight. So let's trade away all this wool. And now we have plenty of stone, just like that. But all right, guys, I think we're definitely making great progress. I love watching this beautiful world unfold in front of us. And remember, we are only here for a brief time before we are going to need to travel on on a procedurally generated adventure and see what the next events hold for us. And now that we have managed to get enough stone, I think we can begin to come up with a different idea of where to put the cell. <laughs> uh, but... Oh, it's just, it's such a beautiful journey. It really is. So thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for poor Faza, who I really hope we can heal up soon. Uh, hopefully getting the dispensary going, having enough food. Uh, it, I'm quite concerned about this. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.